I stand before Wow, okay, alone starting alone off unchanging. this freaking 75 questions. First question is evil. What do we think here? Firstly, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Ambivert, well, doesn't exist. And no, I will not take Excellent. criticism. Um, introvert, I guess. What is your MBTI type? I'm just gonna go to the last one, but... Ready to try anything once, so ISTP. Is that even an option here? Yeah, the second one, I guess. I guess that is definitely me. But, I mean, I, there's definitely a, a couple of them. But it won't affect the world remains um, constant the results, over the but wow, I'm the like, human shit. life is like the dew at dawn or a bubble rising to the yeah. <laughs> Literally, okay. So what zodiac sign are you, Aries? <gasps> What's your Hogwarts house? Besides hating J.K. Rowling, that should be a given. Okay, nobody. Okay, everyone could just screw off. She designed the best freaking series ever. Okay, no one's gonna tell me otherwise. They can just go to hell. At the lowest point in your life, what deep-rooted desires kept you going? Desire to protect, the desire to shape your identity, the desire to help, desire to be free, desire for success, or pursue your passion. Desire to help. I, I guess I would say success. Yeah, I, I mean, but I'll put success, but there's definitely more than one. What is your sexuality? Oh. Sorry to disappoint anybody, but I'm straight. Don't see how that matters, but all right. Um, how is slash was your relationship with your birth father? Uh, pretty rough. How is your relationship with your birth mother? Great. Um, you're in a room with someone when danger strikes. Fire, attack, etc. How do you feel? I feel the desire to protect the other person. I feel the desire to run, to fight, handle the day. Ooh. This is kind of one and the same, though. I feel the desire to protect the other person, and I also feel the desire to fight slash handle the danger. Uh, I'm. It's both. Such personal questions. I know. It's like, oh, what kind of thing? I don't know. I can't choose just, I can't choose both. Protect others, I'll just say. Can you suppress pain? I can suppress physical pain, but not emotional. I can suppress emotional pain, but not physical. <laughs> Probably this one. I can suppress, suppress both. Uh, I mean, I can suppress physical pain, but I'm not as good at it. So I'm going to say I can suppress emotional, but not physical. Um, how do you prefer to receive love? Love languages. <gasps> I don't know. All of the above. Acts of service. What the? What the actual hell? Acts. Can you guys even see this? Acts of freaking service. I got it from someone, sorry. A quality time. I like presents too. <laughs> I like giving and receiving. Um, how do you show love? Love languages. Oh, um, oh, I don't know. Quality time. How do you react to being embarrassed? I get really quiet and try to disappear. Except on stream, I don't really have a choice. I get angry and defensive. I brush it off because it's no big deal. I mean both. I just try and change the subject usually, but I don't. I don't know if that's trying to disappear. Hmm. I'm just embarrassing, so it's no big deal. How would you react to someone giving you a spontaneous hug? In the past, I would say I would tense up and just stand there. Uh, 
or I would push them back. <laughs> Give them a hug and ask if they're okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, that was, that's, that's good. Do you have any regrets in your life? Oh, that is so tough. I have some things I wish I could change, but I know I've done my best. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Are you a wishy-washy person? Yes! <laughs> What type of person do you find most annoying? Suck up or pick me person. A loud, brash person. The know-it-all. Self-centered, who makes everything about themselves. The person who doesn't understand social cues. The liar. That's the most annoying. Thank God that was an option. What insult would hurt the most to be called? Annoying, stupid, selfish, asshole, unreliable, or freak? Inactivity serves no purpose Stupid, whatsoever. because people always used to say that to me, and it really hurt my feelings. And then, now, people don't say that anymore. Because now, I think they realize they are these stupid ones for saying it, so, stupid. Which affirmation from me to you makes you feel the most loved? You've been so strong. You have so many talents. You are loved. You can brighten up a room. You're so intelligent. You can do anything you set your mind to, or you're so beautiful. Um, what makes me feel the most loved? All the world holds Ooh. dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. You can brighten up a room. I mean, I do like this first one here. I, like, the first two are really good. Um, I mean, no, but nobody nobody gets annoyed by that. But um, I love this one as well. You can do anything you set your mind to. That's tough. Oh. But this one just makes me happy, so I'm going to go with that. Out of these pets, which one would you want the most? A peri bearded dragon. She likes to throw herself off <laughs> of things and can give licks on command. She also enjoys sleeping under blankets. Wow. Okay. Um. A uh, cricket bearded dragon. He loves to cuddle and lay on you. Kind of dumb. And wants to mate with any bearded dragon he sees. Oh my gosh. Osiris Cat has the eye for the Greek. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. My mouse just got all slow. Um, has the eye of the Greek goddess. Likes to zoom and tries to eat other animals. Also will use the bathroom with you. The centuries. Very sweet. But human life is like the dew at dawn. Or a bubble well, rising stay the fuck water. away from me. <laughs> the Hercules Iguana. Aggressive little boy. Likes to hit you, but he's too small for it to hurt. Samushu, right? Him choosing you makes you feel honored. Andromalius. Turtle. No brain cells. Tries to walk in the air. Likes head pets. Well... Rocky Dog, scared of everything and won't leave his room. Likes hugs and knows when you're sad. Popcorn Dog, she's tiny and likes to lick. She also likes to play and bark at men. Wears tiny sweaters to stay warm. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> Popcorn. Um, mind you, I'm kind of with the Perry. Likes to hurl herself off things. I don't like the lick on command, but maybe it can lick others. Just to annoy them, right? Uh. Oh, that's tough. I was so set on the first one, and then they freaking had to go ahead and give the popcorn dog. I just I like dragons. Okay, we're going with the dragon. Uh, what color character are you? Inspired by... Whatever. Red. Blunt, scary exterior. Quick-tempered with... Strangers but sobs if they hurt their friends. Flirts for fun. Wow. Orange. 
knows a wide network of people and convinces friends to do stupid things. Confident, sometimes too much, and likes things to be interesting. The world remains constant over the centuries. Okay, I might be orange. Yellow, like accidentally causes dome. trouble. Affectionate, ride or die, can start a party Transitive. anywhere. The cheerleader of the group. Okay, maybe I'm yellow. So far, yellow. Green, the only brain cell of the group. <laughs> Just excited to be there. Lots of niche and interests. Honest and direct and focused. Oh, maybe I'm green. Oh. Blue, trustworthy, sees the best in others and overprepared for any situation. Falls in love with strangers and keeps the peace. Purple, loves pranks. Quiet and intimidating. Tough, soft spot for kids and animals. Inactivity serves no purple too. whatsoever. Pink, concerned mom, friend. Honest to a fault, wears their emotions on their sleeve. Constantly stressed. <laughs> Judgmental. I'm the only one with common sense. <laughs> Isn't this like every woman ever? Like, seriously? Black and gray. The feral father figure. Tough love, grumpy brain cell, and an old soul. A constant victim of pranks. <laughs> Not me. Um, accidentally causes trouble and starts party anywhere. Okay, we'll go with yellow. What are you like when you're sick? I keep to myself and don't say much. Unless it's don't touch me. I get really whiny and <laughs> complain a lot. I ignore it until, the phys until physically I can't anymore. Uh, yeah, I make sure I take a bunch of medications. I sleep through it. Sleep, yes. I get more cuddly. I do not. I'm the total opposite. It's like everybody just stay the hell away from me and leave me alone. <laughs> it's, it's not like meant to be mean and I'm not like a grump about it, but it's just more like just it's best to leave me rest and be just sick on my own. <laughs> What's your moral alignment? Chaotic good, maybe. I don't know. We'll go with that. It doesn't affect it at all. So, what do you do when you are insulted? I snap back almost immediately. I shut down and get really quiet. I ignore them because I honestly don't care. I start crying. I try to understand where they're coming from. I laugh. If someone says you're stupid, I probably just laugh and be like, "Okay." Hey. Um. Or I just ignore. I mean, we'll say laugh just because. We're 24. Wow, we're not even halfway. Okay, how do you feel anger? Oh, gosh. I feel a hot anger that hurts and occasionally makes me cry. No. I feel cold, numb anger that can make me cruel. I feel fiery anger that lashes out at anybody near me. I feel small, intense anger that makes me distance myself from the situation. Ah. <sighs> None of the above. Like, I feel hot anger, but the world remains constant. Sure, the like it the it makes me see like red and but it's usually at directed Transitory. at the problem, right? Or I just distance myself, I guess. But I it's not I feel small, intense anger. I, mean, I don't know. It's not like I go crazy and yell or anything. Time. I don't really get that angry. Get flustered or frustrated. Just stay quiet when I'm insulted. I try to ignore it. I just really quiet person in school. Yeah. I used to be really like that. Now it's just, you know, yep. I don't know. It's like, I feel the anger, but it's just, why lash out? It usually just doesn't, doesn't help the situation, right? How do you feel fear? Something grows in my chest until it consumes me. <laughs> A sharp, bur sharp burst of intense panic. An overall uneasily uneasiness that doesn't go away. A cold chill in my stomach that keeps the same intensity over time. Steady and high adrenaline. It's so bad. I, I mean, something that grows in my chest until it consumes me. I don't know. Fear is just, it's t it's intense, yeah. How do you feel sadness, numbness that surrounds me? Fiery agony deep in my heart. A deep wound in my chest. 
Oh my gosh. Um, an anchor pulling me under the water. A sharp knife in my back. It depends, right? A deep wound in my heart. How do you feel happiness? I feel giddy like a child full of energy. Warmth throughout my body that makes me feel at home. How do you feel happiness? An ache of my heart is full of so much joy. An intense euphoria that consumes me. In joy and adrenaline. Uh, a smug satisfaction that makes me feel I can rule the world. <laughs> I wish it was that one. I, I mean, it's both. I feel giddy like a child and full of energy. But, ah, uh, we'll pick that one. It's both. How do you feel love? Romantic or platonic? Wow. Okay. You don't think you've seen me in fear before? You totally have. Um, how do you feel love? I feel like crying as I appreciate those around me. I feel an intense pull towards... The person. They are what makes me whole. No. My feelings towards the other is casual content. Uh, really? I feel warm. Warmer and more at home when I'm around the one I love. Like a game of hot and cold. Maybe. I feel like a child again as I want to open up and show them everything that makes me who I am. Ah. Uh, Maybe. I feel surprised, and I often don't know how intense my feelings are until I am forced to confront them. I usually just know what I enjoy, that I enjoy their company, and I realize it's much more. Hmm. Excitement and love go hand in hand for me. It gives me, it gives my life spice and meaning. I don't think it gives me spice, but, eh, I don't know. Which feeling do you hate the most? Assumingly, all are at the same intensity. Hunger, boredom, sadness, stress, frustration. Oh, what do I hate the most? Stress. Which of these scenarios has the best vibes? Watching the sunset on a hill, dancing in the cool rain on a hot summer's day, driving through the busy city at night with the windows down, um, sitting by the fire on a cool stormy night or riding a fast boat getting hit with <laughs> the spray of the water um, I guess it's either watching the sunset on a hill if they had said watching the sunset you know on the ocean type of thing I would have said yeah but we'll say the last one I like I like speed so um, what is your dream room? A room filled with technology so I consume any media I want on any platform. Oh, bugs. Uh, different activities to master my skills. A room full of cute, soft things that make me feel at home. Mm, yeah, kind of, sometimes. A room where there's lots of breakable objects I can smash without hurting myself or others. A room with any food I can imagine. Oh my god, I can imagine this would be very popular. A room full of all kinds of animals and pets. A room full of books and comfy chairs. Ah, let's go with the top one. The what is your biggest deal breaker in a friend and partner? But human life is like Someone who lies to me constantly. I don't even need to read the rest. The How blurred slash clear are the lines between good and evil? And where do you fit? Um, <laughs> the, li <laughs> the lines are slightly blurred, but I know I'm considered evil. The lines are slightly bur blurred, but I like to hope that I'm on the good side. The lines are black and white, and I lie somewhere in the middle. Okay, I guess this is the only good side one. The lines are slightly blurred, but I still... Or, but I like to hope that I'm on the good side. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't a lot of positive things. Are you a Sherlock or a Watson? Of a Sherlock relies on others to I succeed and wants personal and recognition and credit. No. A Watson, more independent, confident. 
uh, to not need recognition, finds Sherlock in life to inspire to do something incredible, something incredibly great. Oh, I don't know. Doesn't feel the need to be the best at what they do. That's not true. Hold on. Finds a Watson who encourages them to do something great. Yeah. Okay, stop one. I'm a Sherlock. How important is honesty to you? Incredibly. I hate lies, even if they're for someone's own good. I mean, I might be able to go the second one down. I hate liars, too. I mean, I know there's, like... There are little lies that I just... It doesn't really bother me that much. But when you're talking, like... The big stuff, it drives me nuts. But I find that that's a good way to blur trust, right? So, for example, like, um, if you said, like, you know, if I said, oh, did you Inactivity have pizza or Chinese food for no dinner? Purpose whatsoever. And you were like, oh, I had Chinese food. But you actually had pizza, and I found out about that. I, I would just, it's not like it's a big deal, but at the same time, it's just more like, you kind of go, well, what else are you not being truthful about, you know? It's so like one time you can go, yeah, you really screwed that up, but you know what I mean? It's just like you start questioning things. How much of yourself do you show others? <laughs> Basically nothing. No one knows me. Um, to strangers, I show a little, show a little of me, but to those close to me, they are the ones who fully know me. Um. I don't know. I'm an open book once you start to talk to me. I mean, yes, but there's always going to be some stuff, you know? Like, I always have, like, what you see is what you get, which is true, but I know that if, you know, people ask certain questions, I may just go, yeah, no, or just say, yeah, forget it. Right? So, I guess it's like... Yeah, okay, I think this is the best one. To strangers, I show the parts of me... Or parts they want to see, but to those close to me, I show a solid amount of who I am, although never all. Yeah. It's tricky how they're worded, you know? How would your younger self feel about you today? Um, they would be extremely confused. All the you know what? I hate to say it, but that's kind of true. Of constant motion. Um, I stand before it alone. <laughs> they would be just extremely confused. Yeah. What is your fitness style? I grind at the gym and I try and stay in shape. My body to my liking. Um, yeah, the top one. How do you see humanity? <laughs> Inherently dark and cruel. Inherently good with people making mistakes. I think this is how I felt most of my life. Um, the world remains constant over the centuries. I feel like I lean more this like way dawn, nowadays, but I'm still Transitory. feeling like there's possibilities for both sides. I don't, I don't want to go here, and I don't think I'm gonna make it back here because it makes me too, a little too naive, and I don't know. There's, there's two sides to everything, right? Are you judgmental? Yes, but, like, not in a bad way. Like, I'll make judgment, but I guess no. I don't, like, I don't judge people by, you know, like, let's say education or, um, you know, social status or finances or whatever, right? But, you know, it's like, you know, you can still judge a person on, like, how hard they work and, and things like that, right? How do you express yourself creatively? Um, dance. <laughs> Physical. Dance or other art. Yeah, I, I like to dance. 
How comfortable are you with being alone? Extremely. Some days I would almost prefer to live alone. Um, what is the best period of a person's life? Oh. Childhood. What kind of kid were you? Quiet and shy. Stereotypical good kid. Inactivity serves yep. no purpose whatsoever. That was me. A kid <laughs> with undiagnosed ADHD. Oh, wow. Imaginary games all day. I mean, I guess it could be all of it, but I was pretty quiet. Um, what is your attachment style? Can apply to friends or partners. Um, anxious and extremely worried they will leave. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty secure. I guess it's just kind of like I just go when that day comes. It's like I can love myself and them and it's fine. And then the it's like through everything we should centuries. be able to figure it out. I don't believe there's any like running the away or, or whatever. Like, sure, you always worried walk. somebody could leave, Transitory. but, like, it's not at the forefront. It's more just, you know, if they don't want to be there, they don't want to be there, right? So. How do you handle conflict? Um... I try to think of how to respond most times, but can react on the spot when I need to. I focus on the other side rather than myself reacting, but I keep my distance. I guess we'll say direct. How much does money mean to you? <laughs> um, money is important, but there are things much more important. Yes, but we've had this discussion before. Money is everything. It really is. However, it is not the only thing. So if you have happiness in your life before you have money, I think that, you know, it, having money, it's it doesn't make or break your happiness. But if you are miserable and you get money, it's like you're still, money's still not going to make you happy. So it can get everything you want in life, 100%. But, you know, at the same time, it can't. It can't do it all for you, but if you already have the foundation in place, why wouldn't it make it better for you? So. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's not everything, but it, it very well could be. Like, if you are super happy in your life and then you don't have money, it can make you absolutely miserable. And, you know, this could be everything for you because it could make your life so much better. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a really tough balance, and I know it's something people are very sensitive to talk about, but it's like, yeah. Have I been tanning? Uh, no. I mean, I've been outside, like, two days, but that was, like, what almost two weeks ago now we haven't really had any sunny weather that was like tanning weather um how do you cheer someone tell jokes give comfort and empathy give them space the world remains constant to distract over the them. centuries uh, a bit the of human both. life is like the dew at dawn or a bubble rising through water transitory uh, i don't know it's both that's both. What's your learning style? <sighs> Visual and kinesthetic. So that would be tact tactile here. Um, more visual, but yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, thank you, Ad Gaming, so much for the five gifted subs. Let's go. We're at 106 now. Thank you so much. You are on a roll All today. Dear. Let's He's get some hype for him here, guys. Woo! Okay, where's my crazy face? I crazy freaking face. Thank you so much. Error. 
Uh, what's your style on an average day? Stylish and fashionable. I have to look my best. Yeah, of course. Um, what's your favorite type of food? <laughs> Is pizza an option? A meal that completes my palate with many types of foods. Uh, I don't know. Hype train? Oh, I wish we had a hype train today. A 30 freaking gifted subs today. You're freaking amazing. Holy the smoke. Life is like the um, pizza's not on here. A meal that completes my palate with many Transitory. types of foods. Um, what's your least favorite type of food? Um, fish. Because <laughs> I can't eat it. Uh, my least favorite... It would be sweets. I'm not big on it, but I'll say I like everything. Um, how do you want people to see you? Strong and tough, intelligent and capable, reliable and kind, energetic and fun. How strict are your morals? Oh, moderate. Moderate. You look like a desert girl. What the hell does that mean? What desert girl? A <laughs> desert. <laughs> I really hate the taste of fish. Yeah, I can't do fish, as you guys know, but I mean everything else, you know. All the world holds dear is but a back. Um, you're in a large group of people, motion. and you don't know. Or sorry, that you don't know well and are assigned and some form of group work. How do you act? <laughs> I don't know. I used to hate group work. I <laughs> joke around and don't actually focus on the work. Uh, I mean, I don't even... Uh, can, like, can we skip this one, please? No we'll say I joke around. <laughs> Fuck group work. How do you make new friends? I wait for people to come to me because I'm not great at making friends. I go up to whoever I want and start a conversation. Associate with people throughout my day and get to know the ones I click with on a deeper level. I don't know. Um, I'm not great at making... I mean, if I waited for people to come up to me, I would literally never know anyone. Um, people just don't. I associate with people throughout... I don't really... So yeah, I, I mean, this isn't actually accurate, but I don't really... I don't see an option that's better suited for me. You have a new roommate, but after a few weeks, you realize you guys don't get along well. How do you cope? Uh, move out. Um, be out of the house as much as possible. Keep to myself as much as possible and just live with someone I don't talk to. All move the world out. Holds it's not worth it. What do you do when you're sad? Motion. I want cuddles and hugs. I, I isolate myself. Alone it depends. I get quiet, kind of all of the above. I like it. Or sorry, I let it out wherever. No. I try not to. I carry on life as usual. I find a place to break down in private. Yeah. I overcompensate with extra jokes and fake happiness. Not fake happiness, but when I try and get happy again yeah extra jokes um i don't know <laughs> i'm just gonna say i want cuddles and hugs because it sounds cute um how do you sit in a chair life is like beat on the floor dawn, as god intended through water um transitory Like, I haven't slept in 10 years on the edge of my seat with good posture, and I have a musical background. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I do not see with good posture because I have a musical background or anxiety or both. I guess it's like kind of a bit of this, um, but also uh, we're gonna go with the last one. It's a bit. It's a bit of both. But often, yeah, my oh, ankles are crossed, yeah. Um, how do you, or sorry, when do you feel I most like yourself? Alone when I'm alone, unchanging. my family, close friends. Um. And with my family? Uh, I don't know, when I'm alone? I mean, both would do. What do you need right now? A hug? <laughs> Some peace to be accepted. A friend, therapy, strength, money. Oh my gosh. Some therapy. Um, I feel like if we chose money, they would make me like Zhongli or something and be like, Mora is your life. <laughs> I don't really need anything, I guess. I mean, you can always do with more money, I guess. How much have you changed since you were a kid? A lot of them are completely different. Um, a little, but overall no pretty much whatsoever. the same person. Yeah. <laughs> what is success? Lots of money, overall happiness, and regardless of life situations. Being all novo and solving problems. Oh, you rascal! <sighs> that place isn't even worth mentioning. Error. Overall happiness. Which scenario brings you the most peace? I'm a child playing hide and seek with the friends I have lost along the way. No, I would say with kids. Oh, you restaurant? That place isn't even worth mentioning. Um, uh, no. All the world holds dear is but Walking down a Z Street with the highest motion. fashion. I saying hi to no. Alone and unchanging. <laughs> I don't know. Not that I'd paint, but I would just sit there, I guess. You are very successful for being known as an awesome Twitch streamer. Aw, oh, that's sweet. This is the best Twitch stream I've ever been involved with. L literally? Wow. I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is one of my best ones, but I mean, it, this is pretty good. Pretty good. Well then, thank you. <laughs> that definitely made my night. Um, what is music to you? Mood lifter. Sets a ton, oh, sorry, sets a ton, sets a tone for the moment or the day. Yes. I mean, it's lots of things, but I like that one. How empathetic <laughs> are you? Extremely, any pain around me is something I feel deep in my heart. Yep. Um, how do the you feel about authority? I hate authority, and I often go against like it. Wow. Massive lawbreaker. Transitory. Um. Sorry. Uh, how do I feel? Authority is fine for everyone else, but I'm like... <laughs> I don't like it when it impacts me. I think authority is needed, but sometimes it can abuse its power. That's a good one. How open-minded are you? Extremely. Basically can hear anyone out. Yep. How long does it take you to say goodbye to someone you care about once you realize they're toxic for you? It might take a second, but I can do what needs to be done. Um, 
at what period in your life did slash will you enjoy the most childlike interests? <laughs> As a child, duh. Uh, I mean, I can't, I can't really talk about these last two. Um, I gained the freedom to reclaim my childhood. I stand before it. Yes, as a young adult, I have gained the freedom to reclaim my childhood. Yes, I like it. But as a child, duh, like obviously. Um, a rebel. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Um, how expressional are you? I mean, I can hide some feelings, but most of my thoughts are pretty obvious. I mean, my face kind of says it all, so. Yeah, I'm extremely. I, I can't really hide things. That, that's what makes me such a terrible, like, a liar. It's, I can't do it. So even if I can keep my voice, like, no, no, I didn't do it. And my face will just start smiling, and I'm, like, looking around. It's like... Inactivity yeah, serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> do you care what people think of you and how much? Um, no, but yes. So I guess I'll say a little... How do you take criticism? Uh, pretty well, if it's meant to be constructive, even if it hurts a little bit. I mean, it's like, it's, yeah, it's criticism is criticism, right? How easily do you forgive? Ugh, depends on the crime. Um, depends entirely on the situation and the person. Uh, congrats, you made it. Tell me a secret slash recommend me a song. Um, tell me a secret or a song. Why do you and George make the same mistakes over and over again? Um, Error. I think, what is it? All the world the holds dear <laughs> is but a backdrop of constant All right. motion. <gasps> Why did I they give me the chef? Alone and unchanging. You're telling me all this? I did I thought it was like they're gonna say three, two, one, here's your answer. <gasps> they gave me the cook. I no, I'm not even good in the kitchen. Holy sh it. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Unbelievable. I am Shangling. So, yeah. What Genshin character are you? So let's let's read what they have to say. Your passion for your interests is contagious. That is very true. How many of you guys started playing Fortnite when you guys were like, I'm never touching that kind of game ever because of me? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, and when I get really intense about something, it, it does tend to be contagious somehow, some way. You have a way of making everyone feel no at home, no matter whatsoever. how well you know them. I, I, think, I think that's... <laughs> you feel like you have to prove yourself a lot, which isn't true because you're amazing at whatever you put your mind to. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. Thank you. What is this? Like, this is like a feel good thing. You're different from most people, but those who do know you um, know how valuable of a companion you are. <gasps> Sometimes you can be too focused on the task in front of you <laughs> and lose sight of those around you. Yep. Literally, I mean, if you've ever seen me play a game of Fortnite. Yep. Um, wow. But most people find it admirable. 
You are friendly and kind and are good at cheering yourself up when no one is around, which is a trait few have. You make friends fast and easy and for good reason. You never give up when things are hard and tend to appreciate the small things most don't notice. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Guys, this quiz definitely gets full ratings. I can do it after in case it takes me away from this because I want to I want to share it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected Shang Ling, but she is a big sweetheart. You'll try to do your best at being in the 24 hour. I hope so. That'd be so freaking cool. No purpose whatsoever. I'll be on tomorrow too. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow, even sooner. Um, okay, that's so spot on. I guess that test was right. It sounds right to me. <laughs> So spot on. Wow. Girly, literally me, but it was the best decision I made because Fortnite is great. Okay, so see? See, Kyron? It's like what, what you would least expect to enjoy or whatever. Like, not everybody even likes the game that much, but it's just the atmosphere and stuff like that as well. So regardless whether, you know, it's just the atmosphere I've created is contagious or... It's the game itself, or the, the topic, like Harry Potter. We'll see. We'll see how much it affects All ad gaming and Wist as well. We tried to get Wist on board, but I think motion. he's just literally pulling my leg at this point and thinks it's funny. So HP it, was fine. And unchanging. <laughs> but yeah. You're an amazing person and brilliant friend. <laughs> Aw. Thanks, guys. That, this is a real feel-good quiz. I highly recommend everybody freaking take this. So it's uquiz.com. I'll post the link to this in the chat. Um, and I, I'll put it on the Discord as well for anybody who didn't get to complete it. It was a long ass quiz and I totally normally wouldn't spend 50 minutes doing a freaking quiz. Okay, but I didn't even realize it was that long, but it's been that long. But honestly, to get the results I did, I am Shangling, and I think this is like the sweetest thing ever. Wow. That was a feel-good quiz. Holy smokes. We'll have to thank Sickle for sure. Well, 